I talked earlier about uh, the triple, and now I want to go ahead and give you basic concepts. I think they're important for all these positions to, to have the best success. One of the first things I told you in the play side wide receiver is he blocks a near deep back. And uh, what I want him to try to do is get down the field and, and be an aggressive blocker. I mean, I want to have him have this block when the ball is coming to him. So what happens to you is, is when he comes back off the line of scrimmage and he pushes off, one thing I'd like to see happen is start with the inside foot up. The closest foot to the ball needs to be up on the line of scrimmage. Make sure you're inside the tackle's feet. Make sure you ask the, the official, hey, am I, am I legal, am I legal? They won't have to acknowledge it or anything, but just to make sure that you're cheating the line of scrimmage as much as possible. The other thing is get that weight over your knee, get that weight over your, 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 uh, your foot. Toe in just a little bit. That'll stop from rocking back and getting yourself forward, but get yourself balanced up where you can feel comfortable. I mean, you don't have to be stagnant. And then explode up off the line of scrimmage. Make yourself small. Make yourself tiny. Think about speed. I don't want you to flare out and try to start block, stock blocking right now after three, four steps off the line of scrimmage. What I want you to try to do is go ahead and press up the field right now. The one thing I think that you do do is if you recognize this is zone coverage or if you recognize man coverage, it'll help yourself a little bit. But either way, what I would try to do is I'd push off the line of scrimmage and I'd try to get a little bit of width right now. Make that corner think, hey, I'm taking a vertical right now. I'm going four yards from the boundary. I'm getting myself going. I want to try to go. If the corner lines up at seven yards, if the corner lines up at seven yards and he doesn't backpedal out and you push off the line of scrimmage and he's going to just stay right there, then you need to throw the play action pass over the top. But what we want to have happen is you want to go ahead and push off this line of scrimmage fast. Make it look, like I said, make yourself look thin. Don't make yourself flare out yet. Try to get him to turn, backpedal, and run. Because what's going to happen to you is, I've described it all in here, and, and the ball gets pitched. I want to have that ball uh, probably um, five to seven yards behind you so that when you make your block, you got an opportunity to spring the back for the long run. What you're trying to do is you're trying to go down the field, push him back. When you see this guy sit down his hips, when you see him sit down his hips, because the first thing you want to try to do is have a little doubt in his mind. Have a little bit of question. Is he going deep? Is he going to go ahead and threaten me with a vertical route? Is he running a pass route here? Is this play action pass? Push him off the line of scrimmage. When this guy decides, hey, look, that's a run, he's going to drop his hips. When he drops his hips, he's going to flare himself out. When he flares himself out, that's when you want to go ahead and get to within five to seven yards of him, and you want to go ahead and break down. As you start to come to break you down and, and gather yourself, gather yourself, you want to keep your feet underneath you. You want to keep your feet underneath your shoulder pads, and you want to go ahead and attack that guy. As you attack that guy, you want to come in there squared up on him where you're going to go ahead and step with the inside foot, explode their hands up in there, and make contact with him. Keep that position where you're outside in on him. What you want to try to do is break down, close the gap to him, step the inside foot on him, outside foot, and extend that right hand. Make him pin him to the inside. Because what we've told this back in here is we want you to go ahead and get outside here. We want to have an outside block. We want this back to go ahead and catch the ball and use your block down the field. Don't. Well, I've seen so many good plays turn into bad plays. They're not great plays. I mean, good plays not turn into great plays because all of a sudden you push down here. And he breaks down too soon or he blocks too soon. Push it down there. Make it happen. And then don't lose the guy to the outside. Because when you lose the guy to the outside, he forces it all back inside. And here comes pursuit to go ahead and gather.